Hello and welcome Aquarians. This is your July 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak, and my guest, Charlie Evans. Hello. Normally I leave a link in the description box um, linking to, to the, the, the page of my guest, but Charlie's page is not up and running yet. So we'll do this at a later stage, if that makes sense. What we will do here is we will um, look at yourself um, a bit more in depth and therefore we divide areas so it is easier for you to get more out of the, the reading and what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the month of july for the sign of aquarius before we then look at your emotional core um that means maybe there's love coming in whatever can go that kind of stuff before we then go into opportunities and opportunities for the most part will be about what sustains you financially so all that being said time to start i suppose um now we're looking at the overall energy for the month of July 2022 for the sign of Aquarius. Okay, so um, overall energy is about having faith, humanity and benevolence. So this is about seeing the goods this month, seeing the light in everything. Don't focus on the negatives. Um, make sure that you're looking for the light in people, so the people that bring light to you and that you can share your light with them. Um, but also make sure that if you see someone that's being negative, that you feel like just needs a bit of a helping hand, then you're in the right place to help people this month. So make sure that you're taking um, that energy of be showing kindness and compassion and having faith in your own journey and other people to spread light and just good healing all around, positive energy this month. Thank you so much. And with regards to your emotional core, you have what is called the medicine shield, which is about protection. What the guides are saying to you is always trust your intuition. Your intuition is always bang on, will never let you down. And while you are a very giving sign, I mean, you're called the water bearer for a reason, if that makes sense. So you're always there to, to give, but you cannot pour from an empty cup, right? So the point they're making is with you. Um, when it comes to your emotional core, when it comes to how you feel about situations and people, when it comes to be to 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 about to you about um, when it comes to you uh, manifesting love, sharing love, being loved, all these things, always look within. How do I feel here? Is this really what I feel right, or am I having any doubt here? Does this feel really good to me, or am I just? dealing with this because it's the next best thing or that's the only thing available to me, that kind of stuff. Because the medicine shield is saying to you, in order for you to heal, which is your medicine part, um, you need to shield yourself from all those energies that will take advantage of you. It doesn't necessarily make them all bad people, but because you're very giving and in the overall energy, you are also being asked to keep giving. But that's why you're asked to check with your inner voice, to check with your intuition. Are you worth my time? Are you worth my, my love, my guidance? All this kind of stuff. Really, really important. So what I'm not getting here for Aquarians is what to do about love. This is more about you first and foremost acknowledging how you feel about yourself so that you actually are getting to a point of making better decisions. When it comes to love, there's nothing here for you this month about what needs to heal, if that makes sense. All they're saying is healing is happening, right? And you need a bit of a, of a shield to not have um, people, in a way, disperse the good feelings that you have inside you, right? So what I'm getting is to, to summarize this here quickly uh, in July for Aquarius, is that I believe, based on the energy that, I'm, that we're getting here, <clears throat> you already know who causes all these issues. It's not about strangers here. This is about you understanding, oh, that's what's causing, that's who's causing it, if that makes sense. And um, just pay attention to your surroundings, right? And then uh, make changes there, okay? And now we're looking at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of July, 2022. And we're in Cancer, we're moving into Leo, which means the Cancer is governed by the moon and Leo is governed by the sun. And because they're not sharing space so well, there might actually be issues, where, especially when it comes to, to communication this month, which is why it's important to stay with yourself and pay attention to how you feel with regards to whatever else is happening in your life. Okay? 
through. So um, your animal is the falcon for July. So you've been hovering for a while. You've been waiting for something to come your way. This is the month where it's gonna, an opportunity is gonna come for you and you need to grab it with both hands or swoop down and get it. So don't hold back, take the chance, take the leap. It's really important that you do that this month, otherwise you're gonna keep hovering and not get anywhere. So make sure that you're looking for opportunities in your life, but also with your money, if you see a deal that you've been waiting for for ages, then this is a sign to say, look, do it now or if you've been thinking about it for a while do it now whilst you've got the chance so keep that in mind this month thank you so much and that's all we got time for please like subscribe and share so that you're not missing out uh, on future videos um yeah see you next month bye bye thank you